Here I'm heading out to the new stone in a fairly gusty southeast wind, so a little bit of chop and a tiny bit of ground swell. My aim was to head out there and play the how close can I get to rocks without scratching my boat game. It's a, a good way to stay tuned to your kayak and find your paddling techniques in fairly gentle conditions. Um, Stratos I really enjoy for this kind of work. It's very manoeuvrable but really dependable and predictable too. Although designed for primarily low angle paddling, the V Voyagers that I'm using got very narrow blade, zero flutter that I can tell, and uh, it's a very precise feel in high angle strokes as well as low angle. Here and there I am just getting within a few centimetres of the rocks. I think the, the boat and the paddle work very well together, both very precise feeling tools. Moving on to the lizard, a little bit more lively waters out there. I've been watching this corner for a little while and I'm waiting for a, a little rebound wave coming from the left there and another one from the right. Just needs a little bit of edging to keep on track and off we go. I think the, the gentle hull underneath there and the little rail on the side of it really does um, keep that boat stable. I've got about a third skeg down that's locked me on just where I want to go to paddle through this kind of thing. a large volume build there but it's not getting pushed around even these little small features can be good fun again just a bit of timing waiting for the waves coming through and waiting for it to go gently to push through first time on a beach break it's a very steep wave i thought i'd just get pushed sideways but uh, again the rail on the hull um, just helps me turn around there and, and hold my line a little bit of a brace on the booth and away we go